fear is my friend. Uh-huh. I love fear. Fear, fear. fear allows me to reach my highest potential. Mm-hmm. The fear of failing is an illusion. Yeah. Fear is an illusion, but we have to have desire. We have to have something that pushes us. Fear pushes us. Uh-huh. We don't understand that living prepares us for death. Our life, it prepares us for death. Uh-huh. You know, even if we die young, it prepares us. So just the fact that we're losing guys like Kobe lose. We just moving people in our family. There's people dying it's around us all every day, so we prepare for it. Mm-hmm. We understand that, but we avoid it. Do you have any methods for getting through fear? Excuse me? Do you have any methods? Like, how do you, how do you get through fear? What if, if somebody says, yes, I'm afraid right now, and uh, whether it's preparing for a fight or a football game or a business meeting or I'm going to ask this girl out, like, how do you, how do you get through that fear? What, what? I just tell you, listen, this is the thing, right? Whatever we do in the sports, life, and when you don't, when that, when you don't have that feeling no more, it's over. Mm-hmm. When you don't get that fear no more, it's over. Yeah. Meaning that it's got to, like, that's, that's, that's the measurement stick. That, that's, that's how you know you're going in the right direction. It keeps us alive. Yeah. Listen, you think a deer. A deer comes to a lake. He feels the intention is a lion in the tree. So normally he'll jump 50 feet. But with that fear, he jumped 40 feet. Yeah. You know, it's the flight of it's survival. Our fear makes us think things that don't even exist. Our biggest fear never happened. Mm-hmm. Whatever we're afraid of in life, our biggest fear never happens. We go to our grave thing. Well, this shit's never happened. I was waiting for this. It never came. You yeah. know, it's just um, it motivates us. Our that's, fear. That's the direction that you need to go. Without our fear, fear, we're nothing. I know. We get hit by cars every fucking day. We just walk out. We're oblivious. Fear keeps us conscious of our existence. It keeps us um, conscious of knowing that we're mortal. So before each fight, were you afraid? <laughs> Listen, right? And I'm a guy, I'm conscious. I understand the process of fear. Since I was 13, I understand the process I was taught. And I just, I'm scared, I'm crying before. <laughs> but I'm the one I'm, I'm not crying to get my ass kicked. I'm crying because I'm going to lose the same people. I'm not going to love me no more. I'm not going to be nothing. I'm going to go back to Brownsville. Nobody got nothing. I'm a failure in life. I'm nothing. I'm a bitch ass nigga. And then I'm a, and then as soon as they say it's time to go, I turn into a monster. How does that happen? How do you think it happens? I don't, I feel like, for me, I had to do the same thing. I used to cry. I used to be so nervous. I used to tell myself I'm not playing football anymore when I first started. Even after I went through my failure of Pop Warner, when I got to freshman football, sophomore year of football, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so scared right now, the butterflies. And then we go out there after that first hit. It's like, okay, I'm in the game now. And I loved it while it was going on. And then after the game, we'd go back to that like, little bit of fear. What did you know about projecting? You mean getting out in front of it, seeing it happen before it happens, or? Throwing it out there. Uh Uh-huh. You know, listen, check this out. And I know we're on your cast, right? Uh, Where I came from, everybody abused me, beat my ass, kicked my ass, whatever they wanted to me. And now I'm the baddest nigga on the planet. Well, so what they say. Yeah. How does that happen? I'm a bitch-ass nigga, and I'm the baddest nigga on the planet, on a stage and telling everybody. Come on, I want to fight, you bitch. I, I'm doing every, I'm just, I brought my fucking pain with me. I kept, that's what I don't do no more. I don't bring my fucking pain with me. Yeah. And I fucked my career because I brought my fucking pain in the past, but it enhanced me to do so much fucking incredible shit. Yeah. But it fucked me up. Yeah. 